हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस काउंटर्स ओनली अप टू फोर बिट्स लेट्स बिगेन डिजिटल क्लॉक अलार्म वी यूज टू वेक अप इन एर्ली मॉर्निंग इन दैट डिजिटल क्लॉक अलार्म an electronic circuit is used that electronic circuit counts the clock pulses for the alarm and this counting circuit is known as counter as the name indicates it counts so a counter is a sequential digital circuit that tallies the number of clock pulses sent through it the number of clock pulses sent to it is known as counters in this chapter we discuss about various kinds of counters only up to 4 bits so its classification the clock pulse applied to the counter triggers the flip flops based on the connection of clock pulses or the mode of triggering its constituting flip flops the counter are divided into two categories one is asynchronous counter another one is synchronous counters basically the counter is nothing but a digital device that meant for count and uh, another main functions of a counter is uh, timing sequencing and also counting and in that of counter that is uh, an electronic device which is consist of a group of flip flops and uh, we know the resistors also made of flip flops but resistor is used for storage device but counters is used for counting purpose that's the basic difference between resistors and counters the classification of counters as asynchronous and synchronous asynchronous counters here the flip flops are used all flip flops not clogged at the same time but in case of synchronous all flip flops are clogged at same time how in that of asynchronous condition all the flip flops are not clogged at the same time that's for its construction in that of case the construction is one flip flop is given clock pulse and its output triggers another flip flop and so on it is continued if there are flip flops 
that is a flip flop flip flop this is the clock pulse to apply first a clock pulse is given to one flip flop then its output triggers next clock pulse and its output triggers next clock pulse therefore in that counters all the flip flops not clocked at the same time due to its this kind of construction next for synchronous counters all flip flops receive clock pulses from a single source that to be directly so the flip flops flip flop flip flop flip flop and the click clock pulse the connection is just like this so in order to apply a particular clock pulse all the flip flops receive the clock pulse at a particular time therefore due to that type of construction all the flip flops are clocked at same time and it is known as synchronous counters some examples of asynchronous counters ripple counter ripple counter decade counter mod encounter these are some examples of asynchronous counters similarly some examples of synchronous counters as binary counter up counter down counter bcd counter loadable counter ring counter johnson counter in this particular chapter we elaborately discuss about ripple counter decade counter up counter down counter and ring counter let us start one by one under that of asynchronous counters that is the ripple counters and we study this kind of ca counters up to four bits so what is ripple counters here we consider a four bit ripple counter or we call it as an asynchronous counter here we have to taken four jk flip flops and these are interconnected in such a manner that clock input of each flip flop is provided by the output of queues of previous one the past flip flop is directly supply with the 
input clock pulse which is to be counted and that counter is obviously an asynchronous one as is evident from its fundamental mode of triggering to the constituent flip flops. That is why it is under asynchronous counters. So, the operations the terminals J K of all flip flops are joined together and connected to a power supply power supply line that line giving the input status j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 when the inputs are connected to that of logic 1 or high this condition allows the flip flops to switch over its status on every external clock pulse and the output of flip flop A should change its state at the falling gates. Look at a situation here the clock pulse we impose that is eighth pulse. So, eighth pulse here the pulse 0 1 this is rising it rising edge means positive edge at that square wave that one is falling edge that one is negative edge by applying that kind of edge falls that operation holds. So, flip flop A should change its state at the falling gates means at the negative edge of the input clock pulse given to that of particular flip flop and the output of the flip flops will change their state when the output of corresponding previous flip flops change from 1 to 0 that is trailing edge of their pulses. And all the operations and what be the output we can clearly understood by taking its analysis your clock pulse is given and the output we have at q a q b q c q d so the possible input sections as 0 0 0 0, zero the bits are written as uh, 1 0 0 0 next 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 one zero one zero one zero one zero one 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 zero one zero one zero one zero next zero one one zero zero one one zero one 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 0 1 1 1 0 
जीरो 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 वन जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन वन जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन 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 लास्ट वन दैट इज ऑल वन 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 नाउ द आउटपुट्स वी शो ड्यू टू द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दैट ऑफ क्लॉक पल्स नेक्स्ट टू इंटू टेकन जीरो जीरो एज टेकन नेक्स्ट थ्री नेक्स्ट फोर इज टेकन नेक्स्ट एट इज टेकन एट ए टाइम the the output waveform of four bit ripple counter. In the ripple counter, four bit ripple ripple counter, counter, asynchronous क्लॉक पल्स वी ऑप्टेन एट आउटपुट क्यू ए क्यू बी क्यू सी एंड क्यू डी आउटपुट वी ऑप्टेन एट आउटपुट क्यू ए क्यू बी क्यू सी एंड क्यू डी counter example as a decade counter decade counter which named as counter of modulo 10 counter of modulo 10 first we have to we have to understand what is modulo 10 modulo also we call it call it as mod mod means number of states of the counter number of states of the counter we understand it taking an example if uh, the counter consist of n number of flip flops connected in asynchronous mode there will be 2 to the power n states for that given counter and such a chain will be called as the counter of module 2 to the power n module 2 to the power n if we show 2 to the power n is equal to capital n then the counter is called counter of module a capital n or mod n counter counter of module a n or mod n counter in previous section we discuss a four bit ripple counter it has 16 number of states 16 number of states and uh, that states are starting from 0000 to 1111 
it is because it consists of four number of flip flops. The output of each flip flop can be in two states at maximum. Therefore, the counter we can say that is 2 to the power 4 which 1 is equal to 16 states at maximum and the counter return to its initial state after 16 number of states after 16 then it will be transferred to that of initial state 0 0 0 0 and such type of counter is called 16 counter of module 16 this ripple counter is uh, categorized as counter of module 16 on that way we say decade counter decade counter counter of modulo 10 counter of modulo 10 means a decade counter is a binary asynchronous counter that resets itself to 0 after counting 10 this is the states as 0 0 0 0 it is continued to 1 0 0 1 look here 1 0 0 1 but after counting that number 10 it again starts counting 0 0 0 0 so after counting that number it again starts 0 0 0 0 so reset counter for that of next cycle therefore that name is the decade counter and it counts up to 10 so in order to show that kind of counter in circuit arrangement just a new addition is introduced for that of 4 bit asynchronous ripple counter this is the same construction of 4 bit asynchronous ripple counter but here as we taken the repetition after 10 it will be proceeds towards 0 0 0 0 therefore we use a NAND gate and that NAND gate is connected the input of QB and QD and the output of NAND gate is continued to that of clear section of JK flip flop. Therefore, it is possible to count 1 0 0 1 then next count starts from 0 0 0 0. This is the decade counter that is counter of modulo 10 its construction. Next, we are taking the examples of synchronous counters. In synchronous counters, first taking op counter, op counter. Here we consider a 4 bit synchronous counter which is to count clock pulses applied to it, and that uh, figure is a binary op counter the word op is assigned to that counter as per its counting sequence because it is supplied to count the binary sequence in ascending order and the clock pulses to be measured are applied externally to each of the flip flop in that particular counter four number of jk flip flops are taken in a chain in order to realize this four bit synchronous counter both j and k inputs of flip flop b and flip flop c flip flop b flip flop c and flip flop d are all just in are tied together that is known as the toggle mode this is the toggle mode
in that of case first flip flop a the inputs are connected to logic 1 means high and this allows the flip flop to switch over its status on every external clock pulse then the synchronous counting device follows pre-planned sequence of steps in response to common clock signal advancing one state for each pulse and the arrangements of these flip flops is somewhat different as compared to the arrangements of asynchronous counters here the jk inputs of the second flip flop are connected to the output of QA of the first flip flop A. On the other hand, the J and key outputs of the flip flops, flip flop C and flip flop D are controlled by the outputs of two separate AND gates, AND gate 1 and AND gate 2 connected externally and the two AND gates are supplied with signals from the input and output of that of previous stage. These two gates generate the required logic for the J and K inputs of the next stage. So, here the operations is under the two inputs of that of JK flip flop are joined together. So, either the two inputs are high or both are low. The condition is either two inputs are high or both are low. If both the inputs are high, then the JK flip flop changes its output states. And if both the inputs are low, then the flip flop continues in its previous state the status of q d q c q b q a will be the count after each pulse so that can be easily understood by taking that form how op counter operates So, the outputs as we show Q A, Q B, Q C and Q D. First, the bits are 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 one zero one 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 zero one one zero one 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 all one 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 one, one. for off counter the sequences It's 
is the least significant bit then two taken then four taken in consideration next eight taken into consideration that one is the most significant bit in that way the output waveform of four bit synchronous of counter this is the least significant bit that one is the most significant bit is counted in case of op counter next example of synchronous counter as down counter just opposite of up counter here clock pulse is given and two and gates are used logic one is introduced so outputs we obtain by taking the clock pulses outputs as uh, qa Q B, Q C, and Q D, and the sequences are. We are starting from this, as zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, zero, zero, zero. Zero one zero zero, zero one zero zero, one one zero zero, one one zero zero, zero zero one zero, zero zero one zero, one zero one zero, one. Zero, one, zero. Zero, one, one, zero. Zero, one, one, zero. One, 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 zero. One, 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 zero. Zero, 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 one. Zero, 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 one. One, zero, zero, one. One zero zero one zero one zero one zero one zero one 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 zero one 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 zero one zero zero one one. One 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 zero one zero zero one one zero zero one 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 zero one 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 zero one one zero one one one. Zero, one, one, one. It's all one. So the pattern we follow, since it is down counter. That is the least significant bit. Then two taken into consideration at a time.
next 3 taken into consideration at a time sorry 4 next 8 taken into consideration at a time this one is the most significant bit that is all about down counters just opposite of up counter the arrangements just similar but in opposite sequence the outputs are shown as least significant bit and most significant bit this is the output waveform of 4 bit synchronous down counter that is the output waveform next example of a synchronous counter as ring counter ring counter ring counter is a sequential electronic logic circuit that is constructed using c register in which the output of feedback for enabling the device to recirculate the data on that of clock pulse the recirculate of data if we take in the least significant bit from 0, 0, 001, it will be next transferred to 0010, 0, 0, next 0100, 0, 0, and finally we have a most significant position 1000 0, 0, 0, that is uh, constructed by taking the ring counter. So in ring counter, if we take in 4 bit ring counter that is a sequential electronic logic circuit that is constructed using 4 flip flop in a cascading form in which the output is feedback for enabling the device to recirculate the data on that of clock pulse the constructions a 4 bit uh, ring counter is basically a shift register having 4 common bistable flip flops it is also called more for ring counter and the output of last flip flop is connected to the inputs of first flip flop through a feedback circuit. Therefore, the counter transforms the same output through that of particular circuit. The flip flops uh, here we used may be JK type or D type flip flops in that of figure we use D type flip flops and uh, that circuit when the preset input of that of first flip flop A and the clear inputs to the other three flip flops are joined that represent the int input and the feedback circuit is uh, provided between the last flip flop D and the first flip flop there is uh, provision of simultaneous application of the clock pulses to all the flip flops. Since uh, the circuit of application of clock pulses here we shown by taking the dotted lines. And the operations taken care in that of ring counter only one flip flop is set at a time keeping other are cleared. A low pulse is applied to that int input and the flip flop A is set to 1 and other three flip flops are made clear. In other words, the application of preset, preset pulse to the flip flops assigns a value 1 to the ring counter circuit then the clock pulses are applied to that of circulation of data among all the four flip flops stage of that of particular ring counter. So, that operation can be easily understood by that tabulation when the input is low and clock no clock pulse is applied. So, all the outputs we obtain 0 when the input is high to 1 logic is 1 and clock pulse is applied. So, 
we have to ok ok so first uh, when it is low we have the output at 1 as we said it q a as 1 input is high and the clock pulse is applied so the obtain is 0 here is the 1 0 0 as a shift register 1 is shifted to this next high input clock pulse is applied that one is shifted to this position at 0 next pulse is applied high input pulse is applied that one is shifted to this position and again that is shifted to this so it is clear that that a ring counter is such kind of sequential electronic logic circuit that recirculate the data on that of clock pulse. So, here with the help of this particular video lecture we understand counters that only up to 4 bits what is counters classification of counters as asynchronous counters and synchronous counters examples in that a particular video we discuss elaborately about refill counter, decade counter, up counter, down counter and ring counter. Under asynchronous counters, refill counters that is only up to 4 bits, its construction and its operation and output waveform of that of refill counter, decade counter counter of module 10 how we named a particular counter in terms of module that is decade counter we add a NAND gate in order to obtain the counting up to 10 of counter that is an example of synchronous counter with circuit and operations and finally the output of waveform less significant bit and more significant bit its opposite is down counter its logic sorry its construction of the circuit and output of waveform here we just obtain least significant bit and most significant bit but we taken it from down side way finally ring counter 4 bit ring counter example under synchronous counters what is the ring counter and construction of a 4 bit ring counter and its operation are easily understood by taking that of tabulation so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you